Hello, guys. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the common mistakes in messenger marketing. Let's get started. Do you often find your subscribers not engaging with your messages or ignoring all the content that you share with them via messenger? Are you getting more unsubscribes from your new and old subscribers? Messenger marketing is effective as you apply the strategies properly. Your goal is to reach potential audiences so that they will be aware of what you're offering, share valuable content, and later convert them into your customers. First, you must be aware of the common mistakes that any marketer makes and avoid using them in your marketing strategy to achieve your goal successfully. First, sending long messages. If you own a blog site, you might share your blog as one of the messages in your sequences. Blog posts can have long texts, so it is not a good practice to share all the content on your blog site as a message sent to your subscribers. You need to keep it short and be direct to the point. Don't write lengthy messages. If you need to communicate long texts, send them in a few separate messages instead of a long one. Make it mobile friendly. Next, when people are enticed with your offers and decided to subscribe to your list through the different opt-ins that you show them, you must welcome them first, then ask questions and provide options to choose from. If you're not asking questions, you're not encouraging engagement with your subscribers. You can do all the messaging as it will result in your recipients ignoring your messages later. Next, not using GIFs or emojis. Emojis show your recipients that your messages are fun and it is used often by people. If the messages in your sequences are only plain text, it might be boring for your recipients to read. Adding emojis will make the messages lighter and fun to read. GIFs can also make it fun and encourages your recipient to respond to your message. Next, not delivering valuable content. Marketing on Messenger is not all about promotional messages. You must inject non-promotional messages into your sequences and it should not be random. If your audiences are not interested in the content that you share, they will not care about reading your messages since it doesn't create excitement as they receive it. Next, don't send too many messages per day. Nobody wants to receive bulk messages every single day. They might block or mute you. People don't like to get spammed. If you keep on sending too many messages, and in between those messages, you're sending out irrelevant content, they won't be able to learn about it since they will start to ignore your messages. Next, not building relationships with potential customers. Nobody wants to be sold at. Most of the time, consumers avoid people selling them products, especially if they're trying to pitch some products that they are promoting. People won't buy from you since they don't know you and you haven't offered them something valuable that may build a trusting relationship with them. If you just send offers like your products or services, people might ignore your marketing promotions. Next, not offering the option to unsubscribe. The first few days that your recipients experience receiving messages as promotional or non-promotional messages from you, you can expect that they are still excited with your content and they might find it interesting. After some time, some of your subscribers might no longer be interested in what you are offering or what they are receiving from you. You must listen to your audience. If they are no longer interested, stop sending them messages. Respect their decision. It is important to understand the common practices that marketers are applying to their messenger marketing strategies that do not work with their subscribers. Keeping this in mind will allow you to avoid subscribers losing interest in your offers. If you want to target audiences on Google so that they will click on the ad to subscribe, we have a marketing app that can help you build your list with accurate leads to add to your autoresponder. Ads to List allows you to get signups from ads, not from people mailing for you, and nobody has to fill out a form and avoid leads with fake information. And you can send mails to these leads from your autoresponder. Run Google Lead Gen ads and send leads directly to your autoresponder. Ads to List can benefit product vendors to get more leads and customers. Affiliate marketers can get high churn rates. Ecom sellers 
can generate leads and sell to them again and again. Email marketers can stop panicking since they will get fresh leads every day. Local businesses can reach local people in their area and convert them into customers. Amazon sellers can bring relevant customers to their Amazon shop, increasing their sales. Ads to List is a two-step forget system to grow your list forever. Step 1. Make lead gen ads on Google. Step 2. Connect Ads to List to your ad. Then watch the leads pour in. Try Ads to List now. Just go to the website getadstolist.in. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.